Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Peep Squad is in the building, baby. So let's get into it. Let's talk about this situation with Masika and Hazel E. It's going down. You know they've been going back and forth at each other since they've been on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. And also, Masika and Hazel E. has known each other for a long time, too, as well. Because one of Hazel E.'s first video of her rapping about Hollywood, Blase and the Third, Masika was sitting in the video. So they've been knowing each other for at least two decades. Like, what's going on? On. You would think their friendship would last the test of time, but no, it did not last at all. And they on a new set with Zeus Network out here having an altercation and posting to Instagram. It could be a stunt, baby, because Masika just got off of doing a stunt where she lost her job over there at Double Cross at UMC, baby. I was like, Lord have mercy, what is going on? It is what it is. And basically, Masika is saying that nothing happened to her. Hazel E is out here lying. And she said the footage is coming out. So Masika has clapped back at Hazel E, basically calling Hazel E out. And also, Masika bragging about how she put them paws on Hazel E. So you guys tell me what you think. You think the test of time would change. They done got babies. You know, they moved on from loving hip hop Hollywood and they still out here rolling over in the dirt, baby. I was like, Lord have mercy. What's going on with this situation? Lord help these young ladies get all the police assholes. You know what I'm saying? You want to be preaching that you all black lives matter and handle it and this and this and that. You out here calling the police. You got me tied up on set for like, I don't even know how many hours at this point. You feel me? This shit is crazy. You snatched my wig once. <laughs> you tried to assault me. Mm-mm-mm. So you see Hazel E's talking about she got her wig dragged one time, but now she dragged the wig. I was like, Lord have mercy, what's really going on? And you can check that out at Reality Entertainment and also at Pink Hollywood on Instagram, baby. Check them out. I was all the police assholes. You know what I'm saying? And you want to be preaching that you all black lives matter and handle it and this and this and that. You out here calling the police. You got me tied up on set for like... I don't even know how many hours at this point. You feel me? This shit is crazy. You snatched my wig once. <laughs> you tried to assault me. And you got what you got. I'm trying to press charges. I ain't trying to do this one, Nah, man, I'm telling you, I'm niggas, I didn't take my Lexapros today. <laughs> niggas better leave me the fuck alone. Mm -mm -mm. Hazel E, how do you expect your young man to learn violence is not the answer when you out here doing what you do, out here strapping up, talk about Masika and called the popos on you, and she talk about Black Lives Matter. I was like, ooh, you are so wrong for that, Hazel E. You know Masika's out here trying to be an advocate too as well. I was like, Lord have mercy, Hazel E is pulling out all the stops. She ain't playing, but you remember back in the day on Love and Hip Hop when they had this altercation over here and drinks started flying. It seems like Hazel E had the upper hand in this altercation that they had years ago. But I guess it ain't over. They gonna still be going back and forth. We like, damn, when y'all gonna bury the hatchet? Y'all are mothers now. Y'all got kids that can actually see you on TV. And then Masika, you know, she talks about in her tweet that she done dragged Hazel E and Hazel E said Masika did drag her. So there you go. Here's Masika reaching for that stage for Hazel E. And Hazel E ends up, you know, tumbling over. <laughs> and But her, her hair stays attached because allegedly her hair was stitched in. Mm -mm -mm. And so Hazel E walks off the stage with security. And she, her hair is still intact, but it was kind of snatched. It was snatched. And I was like, Lord have mercy, what is going on with this situation? These girls, these ladies, these mothers hasn't got a clue yet they still out here wilding now we want they have there has been some growth for masika and hazel e but there's a whole lot of more growth that needs to happen so we got masika she's she's out here on twitter basically saying a scary b who can't even bend over to touch her own damn toes could never touch me could never put them paws on me could never put them hands on me and then she also brings up the incident where 
She said, he said that last time I yanked him off the stage by his mm, too. Lie when there's footage that's going to air. So basically, Masika said, you lied before. You lied about this. You lied about that. You lied about our other altercation, blahs and the third. But there is going to be footage that's going to be aired. And so therefore, you're going to get caught in your lie again. We'll see what happens because Masika, you're not all the way that trustworthy because you done had an incident faking your kidnapping and p putting a joke on people and joking with people blasting the third and they're concerned for you and they're worried about you and they're calling producers and they're calling everybody to find out what's good with Masika and come to find out Masika was basically doing a stunt to get fans to go to her you know fans only page but she was also trying to get a message out there too as well about what's going on with young women and women and trafficking too as well but the message went on deaf ears because of the stunt that she pulled baby and yes she pulled the stunt she was on set filming for double cross she got a makeup on she got a robe on she took a picture and she posted it to instagram saying that she has been kidnapped she needs help blazing and the third and you don't play these games and this delicate time that we are in too because we don't know who snatched you up. So Masika, basically, she apologized and told everybody it was just a joke. She was trying to bring awareness to what's going on to the young women and the older women in the community. And she was a part of the Rose organization, which is Tony Rivera, that's actually the founder of the Rose organization, she got up and she spoke out and she was feeling a certain type of way. She was feeling like Masika did way too much and she didn't give Masika, she didn't tell Masika to do anything that she did. And this is Tony. She basically speaks out. She had no idea that Masika was going to do what she came, what she was going to do. And she says her organization was not going to take any money from any fans only page because she feels like that is a porn type baby. So she got up here and and basically told Masika, it is done. You know, you did the wrong thing. And people were triggered. People at the studio was calling me. Blase ain't the third. Everybody's hitting me up. I'm out here in these streets trying to save girls, trying to save women. I'm out here hustling. I'm riding solo dolo. You know, I'm my own troop. You know what I'm saying? So, Miss Tony's out here doing a thing for her organization. And she linked up with Masika too as well. And it was a good link up. But after this, you know situation with Masika doing this stunt, you know, they end up being on bad terms. But Masika said that over there on Double Cross that she was told that it was okay for her to do the things that she did. It was okay for her to post up that she got kidnapped, blasting the third, but it was all a joke. It wasn't real. It wasn't serious. But she said she got permission from the people at the studio. The people at the studio said, no, we didn't give you no permission. And that's why she has been let go from you know, double cross. I wonder if they are going to, and her role is available. I wonder if they're going to ask Alexis Sky to actually fill in for Masika and take that role because, you know, Alexis Sky, Alexis Sky said that, you know, she was a part of that situation with trafficking. And then Masika ended up talking to Tony with Vera, the lady that's in charge of the organization, Rose, that goes out here and help young women and trying to get people to donate and become a part of it because it's serious what she's talking about. So her and Masika, they end up having a conversation about the whole situation. So check out some of the conversation and tell me what you think about the situation. Ooh. Hey guys. I'm going to let a couple more people get in here. I'm going to let a couple more people get in here. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all are doing good. Girl, yeah, my hair is getting so long. Let's see. Yes, I'm in Atlanta till the morning. Um... I have a studio session this evening and um, I just wanted to come on to talk to you guys 
Um, before that, just waiting on a friend to join me. There we go. What it do? Hey, Tony, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Good. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. I'm going to let you take the floor. So everybody on here know about what happened with the video. And I can honestly say we are still going, doing, going, doing our internal investigation to find out what's going on and what happened. Um, as you all know, and I've stated to Masika when we talked, um, I did not know. I wasn't in the loop of anything that was going on. I very much hate that Masika lost her job in doing this because actually the show could have been on and she could have been on the show actually helping me to prevent a lot of sex trafficking and brought awareness more to the organization and to what I'm doing out here. Um, in, in any way, shape or form, I did not try to bash Masika. Um, I wanted to make sure that I let her know that um, just as well as she let me know that um, we apologize I, and I can see it right here. I am sorry if that is like for you losing your job and for all the other stuff. But as I said on the call, I repeat, I did not get permission. I did not know. And we both was in the dark. We both was in the dark. Well, I definitely appreciate you, you know, even reaching out. That takes a lot of, like, especially with all the drama that's happened, it takes a very strong woman to do that. And, you know, unfortunately, like, just like I said, you were shocked. I was shocked when I saw your video because, you know, there, you know, of course, there's people in the middle that connected the dots. And that's, I think, what kind of made us both realize, oh, wow. So yeah. she didn't do this maliciously and she didn't do this maliciously. So yeah. I, I accept your apology and I apologize. You know, we both were unaware of the other things that occurred, but I think we both had the same intentions and yeah. the same goal. And, you know, for that, you know, it, it's not worth it to, for me to try to come at you or you to try to come at me when the goal is to make sure we can get these children and these women, you know, free so how are we gonna be arguing when the bigger picture is let's let's you know put it into what's really going on that really what's really going on yeah you know and i want this to show that black women can stand up for each other black women can pull together when wrong is wrong um i can honestly say it was a lot of wrong done in this situation um we both Neither one of us, not one of us, had any idea of what the wrong was. Until we found we, out later. Until <laughs> we found out later what the wrong was. And again, I'm still doing the investigation because I want to know where the email came from. The whole nine, I want to know. Um, that's where I dropped the ball. We're not knowing, not being up on who's sending what, who's doing what, what's going on. You know, and I'm just like, I'm still in awe about it, honestly. I'm still like, how the fuck did this happen? Yeah. And that's it. You know, well, that's, again, that's, I want to say thank it. you. I appreciate it. You know, these past three days have been very trying. <laughs> but um, at the end of the day, you know, I just, I want to continue learning. Um, I want to continue my efforts and, you know, anything I can do further to help. Now that we have direct contact instead of yeah. the middle, you know, any middle parties, um, I, I, I'm 100% on board any way I can help. Let yeah. Me know. Oh, most definitely. Most West. And you know, May West 310. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Period. May West 310. Be it this whole thing. But again, I, I truly am sorry that you lost your job. Sorry that all this happened. And let's just work in. Just so empower black women, show yeah. black women you can put that sword down and don't fight against each other and just Absolutely. be as one. We're stronger together. 
Well, thank you so much again. I really, really appreciate it. And you guys make sure, you know, you check out the Rose organization. They're doing amazing, amazing things. And I'm learning and I'm learning from y'all and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. All right. You too. Bye-bye.